Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you like my content, feel free to like, comment, and share. And also press the subscribe button and turn on notifications. If you like content like this, my videos are mainly geared towards people who are complete beginners, who don't know the first thing about piano. If you are trying to learn piano, you are in the right place. I'm gonna make sure I start you from the very beginning, regardless of what video you land on. So in today's video, I want to go over a little bit about sheet music, nothing too heavy. I want to give you the foundations of how sheet music actually works. So when you're looking at any kind of music, you have this thing where you have the five lines and the four spaces. So this is line number one, two, three, four, and five. And then you have the spaces in between. And what happens is a note is going to fall on either a line like that or on a space and the way that works is depending on where the notes fall that note is going to be assigned a particular key on the piano i'll get into that in a second but i still want to kind of give you the anatomy of how sheet music is set up on a basic level so for the piano depending on the different instruments that you have some instruments work with just the treble clef some instruments work with just the bass clef but because the piano has so many different keys, it has to have two staves, right? In order to cover all of the keys from the lowest keys to the highest keys. And the way it works is the piano is kind of split down the middle here where you have the top staff and then you have the lower staff. If they are connected together like this, where you have a brace, these two connected together is called a grand staff. And what that means is whatever notes you see on sheet music reading from left to right, you would read the notes for both the top staff and the bottom staff at the same time. Because, you know, you have one half and the other half. So as far as the staff and the, um, the treble clef and the bass clef, right, this guy here that you see in music a whole lot, it looks like a giant swirly letter G. That has a couple of names. It's called the treble clef, or it's also called the G clef, because this massive circle here, uh, it wraps around this line, the second line here. And that line has the note G there. So anytime you see a note there for G, that means you press the G. Again, I'll get into that in a second. So that is the top staff. And then here at the bottom, I know it's like a horribly drawn bass clef here, but this clef here is called the bass clef where it has the two dots. It's also called the F clef because of the line that is in between the two dots here. And that line, oops, I did not mean to erase that. Let me go ahead and put that back. That line is the F line. So the way this works is if you are reading notes on the piano or on sheet music, the notes that are falling on the treble clef staff, right, the higher staff, is basically going to be given the higher notes on the piano. And before I continue, if you are looking for more hands-on piano learning, if that's something that you're interested in in terms of group coaching, I have a free seven-day access to my intro series where you get access to eight pre-recorded videos. If you like them, you'll have an opportunity to decide if you want to do the live group lessons. There's more information on that. In the description, there should be a link for you to sign up for that. If you want something that's a bit more self-paced, pre-recorded, I also have a training program that I'm offering for $1 for the first three days and then $29 a month after that. You can cancel any time. The link is also uh, in the description box for that as well. So back to this. Here, the notes here on the treble clef staff at the top staff are basically given to the notes that are on the higher part of the piano. And then here, the notes for the lower, the bass clef staff, are assigned the notes for the lower part of the piano. The other thing is, in most cases, well, pretty much in every case, um, the notes that are placed on the top staff is usually played by the right hand. Because if you put each of your hands on the piano, naturally, your right hand is going to fall closer to the higher notes of the piano and then the left hand is going to fall on the lower or closer to the lower notes of the piano. So generally, any notes that you see here on the top staff, you will play with your right hand because these are where the higher notes are. And then the notes that are in the lower staff, that's where you'll play the left hand unless otherwise stated 
in sheet music, which sometimes you will see that. So for example, here, this is a piece that I'm working on right now. So these notes here, you see there's a bass clef staff, you see there's a treble clef staff. So even though these notes are near the bass clef staff, if you see where it says here, it says RH, that means these notes will be played by the right hand because it eventually will spill into the higher notes. So all that means is here, the, the right hand's playing some of the lower notes and it kind of goes up. So again, that's very rare unless you're playing more advanced music, um, but it will tell you if the right hand has to play the lower notes or if the left hand has to play the higher notes. But if you're a beginner, that usually will not happen until you're much more comfortable with the piano. So here, the other thing, there's one more thing I want to show you. Again, this is just basics. You see this note here, I have labeled middle C. So what that means is this note here that has that one little short ledger line, anytime you see that note that is either above the bass clef staff or just under the treble clef staff, that note is what's called middle C. And middle C is the C because if you don't know, the white keys are named by al alphabetical letters. So you have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, right? So middle C is going to be the C, and there's more than one C, there's more than one D, there's more than one E, because the way the piano works is you have C here, which will be the white key always to the left of the two black keys. And then after C, it goes D, E, F, G, and then A, and then B, and then the next C, and then the next D, E, F, G. And just like this C here, this one's also to the left of two black keys. Middle C is always going to be closest to the center of the piano, regardless of what size your, your keyboard is. There's different size keyboards, but for an 88 key like this one, the C, that is middle C, is going to be the closest to the middle of the piano, which is why it's called middle C, right? And you can hear if it's middle C because it's going to have this tone as opposed to, say, this tone or this lower tone. You'll be able to hear if it's middle C. So all that means is it, anytime you see middle C on sheet music just like this, that means you're going to play middle C on the piano. And likewise with all the other notes on the, the treble clef and the bass clef, so anytime you see, let's say D, which will look something like this, um, let me see, where it doesn't have a ledger line, it's just kind of hanging out in the space there, that's middle D, that means anytime you see this note, you would play D, which is right next door to middle C, right? So that is basically the basic structure of how sheet music works on the piano. Obviously, there's more to it in terms of learning the actual notes themselves. Um, so that's something that you can always learn um, in a future video, but this is just kind of get your foot in the door. So thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my future videos.